Lead-tainted toys were recalled because of the damage lead can do to children's brains. But what about adults who were exposed as kids to lead levels once considered safe but are now known to be unsafe? A 23-year study of monkeys led by neuroscientist Nasser Zawiya suggests there may be a higher risk of Alzheimer's disease later in life. Based on our findings and our studies, we'll say that the risk has been increased. In the 1980s, monkeys like these were exposed as infants to levels of lead that the Centers for Disease Control at that time considered to be safe for kids, about twice today's limit. After the monkeys died some two decades later, researchers studied their brains and found abnormalities much like those found in Alzheimer's patients. Every single one of them had the same pattern of increased plaques, of dense plaques that were more pronounced. As the researchers wrote in the Journal of Neuroscience, they also found increased activity of genes associated with Alzheimer's. The findings are significant to lead expert Joseph Graziano, who was not a part of the monkey research. Uh, many, many Americans had blood leads in those ranges as children. Uh, lead exposure in the, in the United States peaked at 1977. Plenty of us had blood leads in that range and thought nothing of it at the time. Zawiya says the study does not prove that lead can cause Alzheimer's in people, but both researchers think regulators should again lower the blood lead levels considered safe. I'm Sunita Reed.